Well, here's something that really surprised me, and it's a disturbing fact. Every year, we waste nearly $8 billion worth of food. Thrown out, gone forever, it ends up as landfill. And here's another fact. That wasted food would feed more than a million Australians every month for a year. It's a shameful waste, but one that we're finally doing something about. I suppose every day, you know, there's leftovers and stuff you don't use. Is it something that you think about? Probably not. Not me, it's really. No, you wouldn't. You wouldn't sleep. The reality of our food wastage is far more staggering than you might ever have imagined. Every year in Australia, 7.5 million tonnes of fresh fruit and vegetables and meat ends up as landfill. That means for every trolley that goes through the supermarket, another whole trolley of this is thrown in the tip. 50% of the produce in this country is wasted from the paddock to the plate. We're not talking here about rotten tomatoes or steak that's gone green. All of this food is fine to eat, but it's been discarded because the supermarkets either couldn't sell it or it was close to its use-by date. What we've got here is you've got a bag of oranges that are in top neck, but they get thrown out because there's one in there that's been damaged. One more kilo of the 7.5 million wasted tonnes. 7.5 million tonnes does sound like a lot, but how much is it really? Well, here's a thought experiment. The MCG holds roughly 90,000 people, which also happens to be about the number of homeless people in Australia. 7.5 million tonnes of food would not only feed all of them, it'd feed another 166,000 MCGs full. The sheer excess is even harder to fathom when you consider how many people go without. We know that there's 1.2 million people that ran out of food at some point in the last year and didn't have enough money to buy more. But let's look at this another way. Imagine we took all that wasted food and made meals out of it. If we put that food on 30 centimetre plates and laid them on the road end to end, how far would that line of plates stretch? Remembering that the plates are just 30 centimetres wide and the earth is 40,000 kilometres around, end to end they'd stretch the width of Australia and around the world 178 times. The food we throw out would feed 13 million Australians for an entire year. So what's the answer? The answer is moving the food that is being discarded to the people that need the food. So there's more than enough food to go around, it's just that distributing the excess to those who need it isn't commercially viable. That's where these people come in. Katie Barfield is the CEO of a charity called Second Bite. The plan today is we've got everybody sorting through the food um, and then it will go out to St Mary's House of Welcome and also Wesley Mission. And you get what? Otway pork mince here, yeah. chicken, you got sausages, hot dogs, so steak. Range steaks. Russell Shields oversees the distribution of yeah, excess good. food from yeah. dozens of supermarkets. This stuff would have all ended up in a tip. Previously, yes. Yeah. Today, some is going to the Wesley Mission, the rest is headed straight for the table. And previous to second bite, it was basically simple things like mince or pies. But now that we've got second bite, we can almost serve whatever we like. Second Bite distributes 900 tonnes of food a year. Well, that makes about 1.8 million meals. That's hearty, nutritious meals for people. That's just 0.001% of the food wasted in Victoria alone. Imagine what could be done if there were more like this. If we could scale up the logistics, the infrastructure, we'd be able to get food to every single person in need. Definitely some good being done there. Now, when you